Hello and welcome to this video. I have been called so many times over the last few days since the government announced their mini budget. Everybody's asking about recession, when it's happening, what's going to happen in the property market, what is really, really going to go on. Basically, everybody's kind of really, really worrying about what's going to happen in the future. Energy prices, petrol, diesel, talking about groceries, um, so many stuff happening. People banging my phone every single day, asking me really what is going to happen in the future, especially when it comes to the property market. So well, in this video, I'm going to share what is recession, when it's going to happen, and what you should be doing to actually prepare you to ensure you are set for taking the opportunities. Well, let's admit, I know it's dreadful to hear about recession, how, how scary it is, and how lots of people would be going bankrupt, losing lots of money, but yet it is an opportunity. More millionaires are made during recession than any other time in human history. So if you're thinking, if you're worrying about the recession, maybe you want to know what recession is, right what you should be doing so you can prepare yourself for when the winter comes because it's going to happen it's going to happen it's going to happen so it's, it's important for you to know exactly what it is and try to mitigate to ensure you take advantage of it so basically in this video i'm going to go through all that process so you learn exactly what you need, you need to do to get yourselves ready for when the recession hits because it's going to happen okay before we get going, let's talk about recession. What is recession? You've been hearing about this left, right and centre. People are talking about it in the, um, in, in the media, um, travel, transport, everywhere. Everybody's talking about it in my office. Everywhere people are talking about recession. So let's talk about what it is, what really it actually means. A recession, it is a period of temporal economic decline during which trade and industrial activities are reduced, generally identified by a fall in GDP in two consecutive quarters. In layman time, basically, it's when there is a less demand in the industry, right? Where people are not buying any more items and they're worried about what's going to happen tomorrow, what's going to happen next month. Basically, that then draws in the production it basically makes it slow and again in this sort of recession we might be facing it's kind of the opposite where prices are going significantly higher because production is lower and people don't really have that money to actually buy the items again that then reduces the the um the um gdp figure and then that then causes a recession so basically that's what a recession is okay but then what what should you be doing during recession or before recession the number one thing I would advise you to do basically, stop watching the media. Stop watching the news because the news, I've never watched the news where they're celebrating about success, talking about nice things, to talking about how amazing things are. The news is negative. They always talk about literally, they, they literally dread on bad things. Ukraine, inflation, how the property market is literally going to fall off. You know, it makes you scared because what happens is negative news sells. So they're not going to be telling you about what you want to hear. They want to tell you what gets you nervous because what the mind is, how God created the mind or how the mind is designed is basically, you're more attracted to kind of negative news. And again, anything is negative, people want to hear it. People want, I know it may be pain in you, but you still want to, want to hear it. And then obviously that then cause procrastination, it cause delays, it cause you to wait on the sideline thinking when everything goes nice, you will start investing, okay? Don't watch the news, don't watch the media because they're just dreadful. They're literally gonna give you nightmares. So if you wanna be successful during this recession, basically stop watching the news because the news is just too much, especially if you're taking it in. If you're taking it in, don't watch it because some people watch just to know what's happening, headlines, I don't understand that, but don't sit down, watch it to, to literally um, deter your future. The second thing you need to be doing is basically educate yourself. Right, educate yourself, understand what you want to get into. Are you, do you want to look into cryptos? Do you want to look at stock and shares? Actually, do you want to look at properties? Because property is what I do, basically. Learn about properties, understand what advantages can be taken off during recession. Because if you remember, more millionaires are made during recession. So what sort of strategy do you want to learn? Do you want to learn rent to rent, for example, rent to service accommodation or service accommodation, holiday let, buy, refurbish and refinance? Well, you may be asking what buy, refurbish and refinance is. Buy, refurbish and refinance is basically buying a dilapidated property, right? You do it up, renovate it, 
right? You then remortgage that property and rent it. That's what BRR is. What are these opportunities out there? Because remember what Warren Buffett said, when people are fearful, you become greedy, right? So basically this is, 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 is starting to happen slightly. People are getting worried about the property market. People are, get, people are getting worried what's going to happen out there. So go out there, educate yourself, watch my YouTube videos, find property coaches, properties mentors to actually train you, mentor, even if, it, even if it doesn't have to be me, find someone who will educate you in the strategy you want to execute. Obviously, if you want me to kind of train you, mentor you, coach you, there's a link on this video where you can book a free strategic call with me, absolutely free, so I can talk to you a bit about the property market and how you can take advantage of it. If, even if it's not me, get someone to train you, educate you, to get you to the next level because this is the opportunity. It's one of a lifetime opportunities, okay? This is the time to set yourself ready for actually taking advantage of it. Remember, note this down, more millionaires are made during recession than any other time in history. So prepare yourself, get yourself ready for when the recession hits. The third thing you should be doing right now basically is to check your outgoings. How much are you spending, right? Because you know your salary may have not been increased and you may not have passive income. Look what you're spending your money on. Are you spending on Netflix that, that you don't watch? Amazon Prime, any other subscription that you literally subscribe on that you're not watching. Do you really need that thing? Do you really need to have that? And again, deliveries, buying things online, just eat, buying things, food deliveries. These are the things that literally eat in your pennies, okay? If you can cook yourself a nice meal, cook the meal because it's cheaper to actually cook at home. Homemade food is cheaper than buying foods. So these are the little things you need to start thinking about. Am I ordering too much food? right how many times do i do i eat out during the week or the month how many subscriptions do i do i actually have that i'm not using people literally pay 14.99 a month to watch netflix or to subscribe to netflix they hardly watch any movies anyways they they literally um piercing through the tv watching negative news instead of netflix so again netflix doesn't add any value to you right what you should be doing instead is to disc is literally unsubscribing it Put that money aside, at least put that money aside towards your financial goal. And again, if you kind of watch, if you kind of subscribed to um, things like Sky, for example, if you're not watching football, if you only watch football once every week, even if you're watching it, basically, literally unsubscribe, un un spend that time to learn about property, spend that time to learn about you, spend that time to learn about your financial si situation, because guess what? That's what gets you to where you want to go. It's not, it's not watching that Netflix. It's not watching football. Because the footballers, to be honest, they are doing their job as you watch them. They are literally making millions whilst you watch them. So you need to start thinking about what can I do to actually add value in me and the people around me. So the fourth thing you need to be thinking about basically is saving. What do I mean by saving? Because um, I want you to understand what I mean by, by saving here. Because especially when, when inflation is about 13, 15%, you need to understand what I'm trying to say here. What do I mean by saving? What I mean by saving is, it's not saving tens of thousands, 15,000 or maybe 100,000 pounds. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about saving a minimum of three to six months of your monthly expense, right? So what do I mean by that? Basically, you're gonna check how much you spend every month, right? Times that by, by three or six months, so you have that as a cash pot just in case something goes wrong. So if something goes wrong, you've got about six months worth of expense to actually help you carry on. And then the rest, invest the rest. Invest the rest in any sort of passive income that you know about. What I would advise you to do basically is to invest in properties. There are some property strategies that doesn't require any money and there's some that require little or none of your own money. You've got strategies like deal sourcing, for example. You can go and source a deal, sell that deal on to a property investor. You've got rent to rent. Again, rent to rent literally gets you to start without having tens of thousands. So again, you can use that remaining balance to actually invest in rent to rent. Service accommodation, again, these are the sort of strategies you can start to do that will take your financial situation to the next level. Again, you need to be looking at these things. Savings, a lot of money. As long as you're saving more than your six month um, expense, you're making a loss basically because as you know, inflation is at um, God knows how many, how much now. They said 15%, but I think it's more than 15%. So again, if you are looking to take your financial situation to the next level, you need to be investing rather than saving. Keep six months of your income and the rest invest. 
if you don't know what you're doing, educate yourself. If you don't, if you don't want to educate yourself, partner with someone who would work with you together as a team to take your financial situation to the next level. The fifth thing you need to learn, basically, or you need to be doing right now, is paying your debts down. Now, what do I mean by paying your debt down? Or what sort of debt am I referring to here? I'm referring to bad debt, okay? Suppose you've got a credit card debt, right, that, that you've literally spent um, as, a, as a result of maybe giving someone a gift or going on holiday. And again, if that debt is over 7%, it's about time to pay that debt because if you don't pay that debt, interest rate is going up, it's creeping up, and uh, I am, I'm kind of assuming that it might go up twice before the end of year. If not early next year, it would creep up. And then what that means, basically, if you've got a credit card debt, it means your interest rate has gone up. And by the way, the bank do not want you to pay your debt because they want you to take the longest time possible to pay the debt so they can make a ridiculous amount of return in your money. So again, pay down your debt. Any debt that you think is a bad debt, it's literally accumulating every single day. Make sure you pay that debt down because if you don't pay that debt down, you'll be eating in your income, not just your income, you'll be eating in any passive income you've got. And again, if you've got a good debt, look at that debt. How can you evaluate that debt? How can you, how can you take advantage of that debt? Suppose you bought a property a couple of years ago, maybe three or, four, three or five years ago, and you have not remortgaged that property. Right, what you could do basically, property price has gone up significantly and buying a property, you using a debt is a massive, massive benefit and it's called good debt. So what you could look at that debt, see if you can remortgage, pull some of that investment out and then obviously start thinking or start buying, your, buying more properties or start, start taking rental rent property deals, rental service accommodation deals, purchase lease option deals. These are the deals that gives you lots of cash flow that will allow you to buy more properties. Again, these are the things you you should be doing doing right right now to actually prepare you for the recession so when do i think the recession is going to happen well nobody's got the crystal ball about when it's going to happen some people are saying it's already here right and some people are saying maybe next year or, or in in a couple of years for for me personally i think we're looking at probably next year or, or in 2023 um, 24 that's the time when i think it might be happening but some people are saying right now it's actually there so what i'm going to tell you now is basically prepare yourself whether it's now tomorrow next year or the year after prepare yourself embrace yourself train yourself to get you well prepared for that storm so when that storm comes you can survive you can not just survive you can thrive you can you can not just thrive you can be successful you know why because you'll be saving you'll be serving lots of investors out there that need your help the most so again let me go through this Five things you need to be doing right now. Number one, stop watching news. Stop watching the bad news because they're not talking about anything else about, about from bad things. Secondly, educate yourself. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself heavily to get you prepared for when shit hit the fan. Number three, check your outgoings. Check your expenses. How, what you're spending, what, what you're spending your money on. Is it something that adds value to you? If it doesn't, literally unsubscribe on it or stop spending it that way save i'm not save, saying save lots of money here save three to six months of your expenses just in case something go, goes wrong and number five pay down your bad debt paying down your bad debt allows you releases you from that stress to allow you to invest if you like this video or any of my video don't forget to hit like button below subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos i look forward to sharing the next video